Here are five 3DS eShop exclusive games that you need to buy before the eShop closes permanently at the end of this month. First up, we got Dylan's Rolling Western. So this is developed by Vanpool, and basically you're playing as an armadillo named Dylan that defends different villages from rock-like monsters in this 3D exploration game. In a way, it's kind of like a tower defense game because Dylan, the main character, can't defend against every single enemy by himself. So he needs to buy different towers and upgrades to help him defend against the monsters and save the village. Dylan can also go through mines collecting different materials and these materials can be used to like upgrade stuff throughout the village and the doors to make it harder for the enemies to get through. It's a really cool mix of like tower defense and exploration which I think is really cool so definitely check this game out. Next up we got Rusty's Real Deal Baseball so pretty much the main character named Rusty is living a rough life and he has a lot of kids so he needs the extra money so he starts to sell baseball video games so in this game you play different baseball related mini games that you purchase from rusty in game so it's kind of like a game in a game if that makes sense the gameplay really feels like you're hitting an actual baseball and all the controls are really solid it definitely reminds me of wii sports baseball which is one of my favorites and i wish switch sports had baseball but you know maybe they'll add that one day this is also a free game to download, which is great, but the downside is there's a lot of in-game purchases. You have to buy a lot of these mini games with real money. So after the eShop closes forever, you can't add more funds and it's kind of worthless and pointless. So if you're really interested in this game, now's the time to download it and buy some of the mini games in-game. Next up, we got Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move. So first of all, this is a pretty neat game because it's an eShop exclusive Nintendo game. We don't get a ton of those because usually Nintendo games are always like physical releases with the digital release, if that makes sense. And also like who doesn't like Mario and Donkey Kong, you know, they're classics. But basically this is a puzzle game spinoff of the regular Mario versus Donkey Kong series. And you have to use the different tiles on the ground to form the best path. To beat each level and there's also different mini games and stuff in this game so it's not so stale by just moving a bunch of tiles around there's about 180 different levels with four different types of puzzle modes and the overall goal is to get the minis to the star then you beat the game pretty much and you could also create your own puzzles and share them with other people number four we got box boy so this game is on the cheaper side and it's only five dollars as you can see it's a really simple game there's not a ton going on on the screen, which is kind of nice. It kind of reminds me of like the Pushmo and Stretchmo series too. So if you like those games, you're probably going to like this one too. You have to think outside of the box to beat every single level and you have to get through the different tricky levels by creating different boxes to navigate through the 20 different worlds in this game. There's a lot of different obstacles that get in your way, but you could also defend yourself and unlock new costumes and like skins. It makes your character more unique when you can customize it. So really exciting. So yeah, this is a really calm and peaceful game, I would say. The final game on this list is The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So this one's a little bit more unique because according to the Nintendo website, this game is only playable on the new Nintendo 3DS XL. So if you have a regular 3DS or whatever or 2DS, it's not going to work. It's an action RPG shooter game where you follow Isaac, which is the main character, on his journey. He comes across a lot of different interesting and bizarre treasures that actually end up helping him and alter his form, giving him like different unique abilities that allow him to beat his enemies more efficiently and help him find other secrets throughout the map. It's definitely a game that's more unique and on the interesting side because it's a little disturbing at times, if that makes sense. This is a series that people like a lot and it's really popular and it's only $15 so if you like games like this definitely check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. All of these games are eShop exclusives meaning you can't buy them physically. You can only get them on the eShop through the 3DS and the eShop closes this month so if you want any of these games you have to act fast to download them. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.